Hello, I'm Karen Parks. And I'm Jeff Barn. Two men were the victims of a knife attack earlier this morning near the auto bar in North Baltimore. Janice Park is streaming live in Remington and tells us an employee of the bar did not survive the attack. Hello, Janice. Hi, Jeff and Karen. Well, the victim has been identified as Tom Malinsky. He worked security at the auto bar, although he wasn't working last night. He was killed about a block from the bar. There's no shortage of flowers today outside the auto bar. All of them are for employee Tom Malinsky. Just total shock, devastation. Just, it's like, he's like my son. He's been here so long. Oh. We're going to really miss him. We just want to find out who did this to him. Police say just before 2 a.m., a citizen flagged officers down. They would find one man with cuts to his face. And Malinsky, seen here in a Facebook photo, stabbed several times in the neck. And the attack on the two men happened right here behind me. It is only a few doors away from the auto bar. Although he was off last night, Malinsky was at Auto Bar to see some of his favorite punk bands play. But near closing time, friends say an altercation moved from inside the bar to outside, and Malinsky happened to be there. Yeah, at the Auto Bar, I mean, he, when he was off, he'd go in and help the, you know, if there was a problem. And apparently someone else was getting stabbed, and Tom jumped in to help save them and ended up, it cost him his own life. Sadly, one of Malinsky's final Facebook posts spoke about his love for Baltimore. He called it an amazing city. Just how sorry we are and how devastated we are and that what a great person Tom was, was and that we all love him very much. And police have not named any suspects and staff members here tell me they're urging anyone with any information to call Baltimore City Police. We're live tonight in Remington Janice Park, Fox 45 News. In Baltimore, police investigate a double stabbing outside a popular music venue that left one of its employees dead. Police have just identified the victim as 35-year-old Tom Malensky, who worked at the auto bar in Remington. Detectives say Malensky and a second man were both stabbed early this morning after a punk rock show. The second victim was not seriously injured. Police are looking for the attacker. Baltimore City Police are investigating a deadly stabbing tonight. Police say it happened in the 2500 block of North Howard Street around 2 this morning. Officers found two stabbing victims, one of them cut in the face, the other stabbed in the neck. That victim, identified as an employee of Auto Bar, died at the hospital. Police are now asking anyone who knows or saw anything to please give them a call. Good evening, I'm Christian Schaefer. We start tonight at 6.30 with an arrest in the deadly stabbing of an employee of the Auto Bar, which is a concert venue in Baltimore City. Tom Malensky was killed around closing time early Friday morning. Police say it happened shortly before 2 a.m. Friday. A person flagging down police officers to report a stabbing. Malensky had been stabbed in the neck. Another man was stabbed in the face. Right now, there are flowers and handwritten remembrances for Tom Malensky outside the bar, which is on Howard Street in Remington, not far from the Johns Hopkins Homewood campus. The Auto Bar's Facebook page indicates that it will release a statement tomorrow, which is expected to include fundraising information for Tom Malensky's family. The second victim of that stabbing is also an employee of the Auto Bar. He survived. Tonight, Baltimore City Police have charged 32-year-old Nicholas Heath with first degree murder, attempted first degree murder, along with several weapons charges. He is being held at the Baltimore City Detention Center tonight. Well, city police make an arrest in a double stabbing that left one man dead. 32 year old Nicholas Heath is charged with murder and attempted murder. Heath is being held at the Baltimore City Detention Center. Police say he stabbed two men after a punk rock show at the Otter Bar in Remington. Now, police identify the victim as 35-year-old Thomas Malinsky, who worked at the popular music venue. The second victim injuries are being reported as not serious. A little more than 24 hours after a bar bouncer is stabbed to death outside the auto bar in Remington, Baltimore City Police say they have the man who did it. 32-year-old Nicholas Heath is charged with first-degree murder and other offenses in the death of Thomas Malinsky. 
Police say Malinsky and another employee were escorting a man out of the auto bar early Friday morning. That's when Heath allegedly attacked both employees, stabbing Malinsky in the neck and giving the other victim less severe injuries. Heath was arrested at his home in Woodstock, where he reportedly admitted to the crime. He's being held at the Baltimore Detention Center tonight. Hi, Jennifer. Malinsky is remembered by patrons and co-workers here at the Auto Bar as a good man. And as you can see behind me here, there's a memorial growing here outside the Auto Bar. It's a concert venue in which he worked. Candles still burn. Flowers still lie where Malinsky was stabbed to death while escorting a man from the bar. Another man stabbed him and his co-worker. And according to these charging documents released by Baltimore City Police yesterday, Nicholas Heath is that suspect. Heath is charged with first-degree murder and other offenses in Malinsky's death. Heath was, was arrested at his home in Woodstock where he reportedly admitted to the crime. He's being held at the Baltimore City Detention Center. Now the victim, Malinsky, was just 35 years old. He was off duty Thursday night and Friday morning when he was stabbed. The auto bar, as you can see back behind me now live, holding another fundraiser for another friend of theirs tonight, has a sign on the door urging people to donate to Malinsky's family. They, say, they tell me just moments ago that they're, they're going to be collecting money from here until um, the bar closes whenever. Um, from now, uh, from now on, you can just donate to the bartenders here. They also say that tomorrow they're going to be releasing information on Twitter. I've retweeted that tweet from the auto bar. You can just go to my page, at Paul Gessler, for more information there. For now, we are reporting live from Remington in North Baltimore this evening. Paul Gessler, Fox 45 News. Thank you, Paul.